Welcome to the Victory Education Lounge. I'm your host and today we're tackling a fascinating and often overlooked topic, insulin resistance in athletes' performance implications. This is part 95 of our ongoing series on metabolic health. Before we dive in, please take a moment to like this video, subscribe to our channel and share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below. Your engagement helps us reach more people with this vital information. Many people, including athletes themselves, don't realize that insulin resistance can affect even those in peak physical condition. Whether you're a professional athlete, a weekend warrior, or simply someone interested in optimizing your performance, understanding this connection is crucial. Today, we'll explore how insulin resistance affects athletic performance and discuss solutions, management strategies, and prevention methods. Did you know insulin resistance can affect even the fittest athletes? This might come as a surprise, but insulin resistance isn't exclusive to those with a sedentary lifestyle. It's a condition where cells don't respond effectively to insulin leading to high blood sugar levels. It's a relevant topic for everyone, not just professional athletes. Why you ask? Because understanding this connection is crucial to optimizing performance, whether you're a pro or a weekend warrior. So let's delve into how insulin resistance can impact athletes and what we can do about it. Firstly, let's discuss energy availability. You see, Insulin resistance can seriously impact how efficiently our bodies use glucose for energy. Why is this so vital? Well, glucose is the primary fuel source for our muscles during intense workouts. Without efficient glucose use, energy levels can plummet, leaving athletes feeling fatigued and underpowered. Now, imagine you're a car. You've got a powerful engine and a sleek design, but you're trying to run on low-quality fuel. It's not going to work, right? The same applies to our bodies. Without the right fuel and without the ability to use that fuel effectively, our performance can suffer. So, what can we do about this? One strategy is implementing a periodized nutrition plan. This is a fancy term for a nutrition plan that changes based on the demands of your training. For example, on heavy training days, you might increase your carbohydrate intake to fuel those intense workouts. On rest days, you might lower your carbs and increase your protein to help with muscle recovery. This approach ensures your body has the right fuel at the right time. Another strategy is targeted carbohydrate intake. This means consuming carbohydrates when your body is most able to use them, like immediately before and after workouts. This can help ensure that glucose is available when your muscles need it most and not lingering in your bloodstream causing problems. But of course, these strategies aren't without their challenges. They require careful planning and potentially working with a sports nutritionist to get right. However, the potential benefits can be significant. Take Sarah, for example. Sarah is a marathon runner who was struggling with mid-race fatigue. She decided to address her insulin sensitivity through diet and training adjustments. With the help of a periodized nutrition plan and targeted carbohydrate intake, she was able to improve her marathon time by 15 minutes. That's a substantial improvement, and it's all thanks to better energy availability. So, if you're an athlete struggling with energy levels, consider looking at your insulin sensitivity. It could be the key to unlocking your full potential. Next, we need to talk about recovery. This is an often underestimated aspect of athletic performance, but it's vital in maintaining and enhancing your physical capabilities. Recovery is the time when your body repairs itself, rebuilds muscle, and replenishes energy stores. It's during this period that insulin plays a crucial role you see, insulin is not just about regulating blood sugar levels, it's also a key player in muscle recovery and glycogen replenishment. After a demanding training session or a grueling competition, your muscles are depleted of glycogen, a form of stored glucose that provides energy for muscle contractions. Insulin aids in transporting glucose from the bloodstream into the muscle cells, where it's stored as glycogen for future use. But here's the catch. If you're insulin resistant, this process isn't as efficient as it should be. This can result in slower recovery times and a prolonged feeling of fatigue. So if you're an athlete who's dealing with insulin resistance, you may find yourself struggling to bounce back after intense workouts or competitions. So what can we do about this? Two key strategies come to mind. Optimizing post-workout nutrition and ensuring adequate rest between training sessions. First, post-workout nutrition. This should ideally focus on a combination of protein and complex carbohydrates. Protein provides the building blocks for muscle repair and growth, while complex carbohydrates help replenish glycogen stores. Consuming these nutrients after workouts can help enhance the recovery process and improve insulin sensitivity. Next, rest. 
Remember, muscle repair and growth happen during rest, not during the workout itself. So, ensuring adequate rest between training sessions is not just about preventing overtraining. It's also about giving your body the time it needs to recover and adapt to the training stimulus. Let's take a real-life example. John, a professional soccer player. John was struggling with slow recovery times between matches. This was affecting his performance and even increasing his risk of injuries, but after optimizing his post-game nutrition and addressing his insulin sensitivity, he reported a 40% improvement in recovery time. This goes to show the power of understanding and managing insulin resistance in enhancing athletic performance and recovery. John, a professional soccer player, reported a 40% improvement in recovery time after optimizing his post-game nutrition and addressing his insulin sensitivity. Moving on, let's consider body composition. This is another area where insulin resistance can play an unexpected role. You see, insulin is not just about blood sugar control, it also has a significant impact on how our bodies store and use fat. When insulin resistance sets in, our bodies may struggle to effectively utilize fat stores, which can lead to an increase in body fat percentage. This is particularly problematic for athletes, who often rely on a lean physique for optimal performance. But don't despair, there are strategies to manage this and keep your body composition in check. One such strategy is ensuring a balanced macronutrient intake. This means getting the right mix of proteins, carbohydrates, and fats in your diet. For instance, a diet rich in lean proteins can help maintain muscle mass, while complex carbohydrates can provide a steady source of energy. Healthy fats are also essential as they play a crucial role in hormone production and nutrient absorption. Another effective strategy is implementing a periodized training program instead of sticking to the same routine all year round, periodization involves varying your training schedule to match your competition or performance goals. This could mean focusing on building strength and power during the off-season, then shifting to endurance and speed as competition approaches. This approach not only helps prevent overtraining but also aligns your training with your body's natural rhythms, promoting optimal body composition. Of course, these strategies require commitment and may necessitate changes to your existing diet and training regimen. However, the payoff can be significant. Just take the example of Lisa, a competitive gymnast. Lisa was struggling to maintain her lean muscle mass due to insulin resistance. But after adjusting her diet and training program, she saw remarkable results. Over a period of three months, Lisa achieved a 5% reduction in body fat while maintaining her muscle mass. Now that's what we call a victory in the face of insulin resistance. So, remember, while insulin resistance can pose a challenge, it's not an insurmountable one. With the right strategies, you can manage your body composition effectively and continue to excel in your athletic pursuits. And on that note, let's move on to our next topic, inflammation. But before we do that, let's take a moment to acknowledge Lisa's success. Lisa, a gymnast, achieved a 5% reduction in body fat while maintaining muscle mass over three months after addressing her insulin resistance. Let's now turn our attention to inflammation. Insulin resistance isn't just about blood sugar and energy levels, it also stokes the fires of chronic low-grade inflammation within your body. This type of inflammation is a slow, silent process that can simmer for years, flying under the radar of your awareness. Over time, it can wear down your body, impairing athletic performance and increasing your risk of injury. So, how does this happen? Well, when your cells become resistant to insulin, they can't take in glucose effectively. This glucose surplus in the bloodstream can trigger an inflammatory response. It's like setting off a tiny fire alarm in your body, leading to the release of inflammatory chemicals. These chemicals can cause damage to your tissues and organs, including your muscles and joints, which are vital for athletic performance. But the good news is, there are ways to manage this. One effective strategy is adopting an anti-inflammatory diet. This includes eating plenty of fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats, which are known for their inflammation-fighting properties. Foods rich in omega-3 fatty acids like fatty fish and flax seeds are especially beneficial. Also, spices like turmeric and ginger have potent anti-inflammatory effects. And let's not forget about, hydration drinking plenty of water helps flush out toxins that can contribute to inflammation. Another strategy is incorporating proper warm-up and cool-down routines into your training. Warming up prepares your body for the workout ahead, increasing blood flow and reducing the risk of injury. Cooling down, on the other hand, helps your body return to its resting state and can reduce post-workout inflammation. To illustrate, let's look at Mike, a tennis player. 
Mike was plagued by frequent joint pain, a common sign of chronic inflammation. After adopting an anti-inflammatory diet and addressing his insulin resistance, along with implementing proper warm-up and cool-down routines, he experienced a 60% reduction in pain. Not only did this significantly improve his quality of life, but it also enhanced his performance on the court. Finally, let's discuss the impact on hormonal balance. Insulin resistance doesn't just affect blood glucose levels. It can also disrupt other hormonal pathways that are crucial for athletic performance. For example, it can interfere with the production of hormones like testosterone and growth hormone, which are essential for muscle growth and recovery. Now, how can we manage this? One key strategy is maintaining a regular sleep schedule. While we sleep, our bodies undergo various processes that are vital for hormonal balance. These include the release of growth hormone, which aids in muscle repair and recovery. Lack of sleep can disrupt these processes, so it's vital to ensure we're getting the recommended seven to nine hours of shut-eye each night. Another important aspect of hormonal balance is stress management. When we're stressed, our bodies produce cortisol, a hormone that can further exacerbate insulin resistance. Chronic stress can also interfere with the balance of other hormones, so incorporating stress management techniques into your routine can be highly beneficial. This could include mindfulness practices, yoga, or simply taking time to relax and unwind each day. In conclusion, insulin resistance can have a profound impact on hormonal balance, affecting everything from muscle growth to recovery. But by implementing strategies such as regular sleep schedules and stress management techniques, we can help mitigate these effects. Addressing insulin resistance can lead to improved overall performance by restoring hormonal balance. Remember, managing insulin sensitivity in athletes requires a comprehensive approach. By addressing this aspect of metabolic health, you're not just potentially improving performance, you're supporting your long-term health and athletic longevity. Thank you for joining us in the Victory Education Lounge. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments. Your experiences could help other athletes on their journey to optimal performance and health. Disclaimer. The information provided in this video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. It is not intended as medical advice. Any health-related decisions, especially those related to athletic training and metabolic health, should be discussed with a licensed physician or qualified healthcare professional.